Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's a bloodbath. <laughs> what happens if you replace your car's engine oil with actual blood? Today, we're gonna to be testing various fluids in our car to see how they compare to motor oil. Is this stupid, or could it actually work if you're in a pinch and needed to lubricate your engine? Things are about to get weird. <laughs> all right, Justin, imagine this. Suppose you're out in the middle of nowhere on your way to the big barbecue, and all of a sudden, the oil light comes on your dash. You're totally out of oil. Maybe your engine burned it all up, or maybe you have a cracked oil pan. Oh no. Either way, you have to fill that engine with something, or else your engine's just gonna seize up, and you're not gonna make it to the big barbecue. But you're in luck, because you just so happen to have some fluids in your trunk. We've got one alternative from the automotive world, and that is automatic transmission fluid. Oh, he's got a jug of that in the trunk. <laughs> right. And that's actually a type of oil designed for hydraulic systems, so it could work OK. And then we got a totally different type of oil, canola oil, typically used for cooking food. Canola oil is considered one of the best oils for heart health, so maybe good for our engine. And fun fact that I just learned about canola oil, Canola stands for Canada Oil Low Acid. Hell yeah, Canada. Looking out for our hearts. Speaking of Canada, we've got a fluid which, at least on paper, has something in common with oil, and that's maple syrup. It should have about the same viscosity as 30 weight motor oil, and we're gonna demonstrate viscosity in just a minute to see exactly what that means. Mm, my favorite fluid yet. And finally, last but certainly not least, we've got a fluid that each and every one of us carries around all the time. Blood. Oh. You've got five or six quarts of this stuff on you right now. I'm just gonna imagine we have the whole pig in the trunk and we're bringing it to the big barbecue. Yeah, yeah, that makes more sense, yeah. I guess. Thanks to Amaze for sponsoring today's video. My name's Jeremiah Burton. Giving you the chance to win this car is my business. I'm out here at the Peterson Museum in LA to give y'all the exciting news that the good folks over at Omaze are giving you the chance to win this Super Performance Mark III R. With taxes and shipping included for US winners. Just go to omaze.com slash donut 22 to enter for your chance to win. This iconic American Roadster is modeled after the iconic Shelby Cobra, designed by the legend Carroll Shelby himself. You ever heard of him? It's got a 7.3 liter Ford Godzilla V8 engine, a five-speed manual, and slithers down the road with a striking 650 horsepower. Not to mention, if you win this, you get to pick whatever root and toot and beautiful color you want. And to top off this happy sandwich, donations benefit the Peterson Automotive Museum. That's where I'm at right now. A nonprofit that preserves automotive history and its impact on the world. They work with underserved communities, boast educational programs, and lead preservation activities, and your donation will help them continue to build automotive history. But time is running out because you have to enter by August 5th at 11.59 p.m. PST. So head on over to omaze.com slash donut22 right now. Good luck. All right, now who do I have to talk to to get my catfish Camaro in here? Huh? Anybody around? You, ma'am with the blazer. Nope, you nope, you're not, nope. Now, of course, replacing engine oil with blood seems crazy, insane, you might say, but there is something to that lifeblood of your engine claim. You know, the oiling system in your engine does have some things in common with the circulatory system in your body. Your engine has an oil pump, which keeps it circulating like a heart. And there are oil galleries and passages of varying sizes running throughout the engine, just like arteries, veins, and capillaries in your body. And your engine has an oil filter, which kind of works like your body's kidneys, filtering out all the gunk. Oil and blood do some similar jobs. Both act as coolant, transferring heat from inside to the surrounding air, and both filter out impurities, making your engine and body last longer. Of course, the most important job of oil is lubrication, and that's where the similarities with blood start to fall apart. <laughs> Now, both oil and blood aren't entirely composed of fluid. Unlike pure water, for example, these are suspensions, and that means that they're a mixture of tiny solids within the fluid. Blood contains a lot more solids than oil, and that's what helps it to form clots, preventing you from bleeding out when you get just a small cut. But those solids might also make for a really poor replacement for oil. We don't know exactly what's gonna happen if we put these in an engine, but one way we can see differences between them is by comparing their viscosity with our little rig. Viscosity is a fluid's resistance to flow. Oil is often described by its weight, and that is a measure of its viscosity. A 40 weight oil has a higher viscosity than a 30 weight. So then we can show you exactly the different viscosities of each of these fluids. We have this little rig set up. We're gonna pour them down this little chute and see which one moves the fastest. And then they're all mixed in the bottom and it'll get a nice, ugly mess for Jimmy to clean up. Whichever fluid gets to the end of the slide first has the lowest viscosity, and inversely, whichever takes the longest to get to the bottom of the slide has the highest viscosity. That's gross. 
Ready to go? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, that's gross. Oh, that is a, oh, that is not a good sound. <laughs> Oh wow, it's like a perfect gradient. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. We got blood outside of the test track. Yeah. That means it splashed so hard because it's so, it's so low watery. viscosity. Cool, well, let's go heat these things up and see what the difference is once they've hit like operating temperature. Yeah, see if they stick to the same order. Yeah, exactly. So we've got our totally scientific uh, heat cycle test here. We're gonna microwave the same amount of each fluid, and then we'll do the same viscosity test to see which one performs the best. The viscosity of almost all liquids decreases as temperature rises, so hot liquids flow way faster, meaning they lose their effectiveness as lubricants. Motor oil totally bucks that trend with additives that modify viscosity for different temperatures. It all looks exactly the same, except for blood. Oh, God. Ooh, look at the blood. <laughs> Oh my God. Blood's at 174. <laughs> ATF is at 102. Canola's at 147. Maple syrup's at 200. And then the engine oil is at a cool 95. Wow, <laughs> seems like it's better at dealing with heat than uh, the rest, especially blood. I don't, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go home. <laughs> I don't. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Today got so gross so quick and you don't even have enough blood left because it's all hard black gunk now. No, oh. God, please, no. I can't believe what I'm looking at. <laughs> oh God. Three, two, one. Oh that is certified disgusting. Oh yeah, that syrup really thinned out. Yeah. It's faster than the blood? Yeah. The blood probably like thickened up with, with the, the cooking of it. Plus so. there was less of it in the tube because yeah. it. That's true too, <laughs> it hit later, so. Engine oil looks great because it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's also at like half the temperature of everything else. Yeah. But <laughs> that just goes to show how good engine oil is at dealing with heat, which is super important in an engine. Uh, <laughs> but I think canola oil is probably the closest to engine oil and mm. blood's probably the furthest. Yeah. So what do you say we put both of those things in an engine? I say let's do it. That was brave, picking it up by the top. <laughs> All right, we got the perfect candidate to put weird fluids into an engine. We got Rodney the Regal here. It's been through hell and back. We cut the uh, top off with Jaws of Life recently. <laughs> and really, the thing's destined for the junkyard. So we figured we'd expedite things and run a little blood through the old heart. Justin, I've never seen a more insane way of jacking up a car. <laughs> That's the one and only way. By the middle and the back to get the front up. We got the old real engine oil all drained out. We got a new oil filter on there. This thing is bone dry. But we're gonna fill it up with four and a half quarts of canola oil. Let it run for a while and see what happens. You ready? Whee! All right, while you do that, I'll work on this. Here we go. All filled up. We're good. Yeah. Wow. Did it always make that high pitch noise? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're getting a little smoke down here, but that's largely all the gunk that's on the exhaust. We can still see the valve train in there operating. Kind of runs better than it did before. <laughs> Honestly, pretty impressive. Oh. Okay, well after about 10 minutes of running with just canola oil in the engine, a bunch of revs, we got up to operating temperature, and still run it. Yeah, I think we'll get there. Yeah, I think that might, in a pinch, get you to the barbecue. But now, I'd like to drain this canola oil and uh, replace it with blood. Dude, it smells like McDonald's out here. <laughs> It 
It's time. It's time for our sacrifice. <laughs> now it's blood time. By the way, shout out to all our subscribers. We hit 6,666,000 today. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, oh, oh. oh God. Oh, 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 oh. God, that's so much blood. <laughs> yeah, oh, the salad. Oh. <laughs> blood is in the engine. Justin's in the car. It's fired up. It's running. Oh, it stinks already. <laughs> Oh, keep her going, baby, keep her going. Ah, that sounds like a bearing starting to spin. The oil light just came on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> blood smoke blowing out of it. Oh. Give it the beans, give it all the bloody beans. That's all she wrote. She's cooked. Boom. Smells awful, but from the looks of it, all this smoke, you might think we made it to the big old BBQ. <laughs> and we made our own together. Oh no, it's on fire. It is on fire. Uh, got blood on it. Who's got the blood? Who just got blood this All right, that's probably good. Well, I guess we really got to the bottom of things today. Thank you guys for watching our beautiful bloodbath. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and throw a comment down there if you liked what we're doing. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Zach Job, Justin at Justin Freeman, and Donut at Donut Media. See you guys later. Have a good one.